For more anatomy related videos please subscribe to my channel, Learn with Dr. Tanya Hashik. In this video we will discuss about the innovation of the heart. Innovation means nerve supply. So heart it has got both parasympathetic and sympathetic nerve supply. Sympathetic nerve supply it is cardio accelerate. That is it increases the heart rate and the parasympathetic it is inhibitory in nature that is it reduces the heart rate on its stimulation. So the sympathetic now supply it is derived from the upper 4 to 5 thoracic segments of the spinal cord. So the sympathetic nerves it is derived from the upper 4 to 5 thoracic segments of the spinal cord. And the parasympathetic nerve supply it is through the vagus nerve. So the branches of the vagus it supplies the heart. And these two that is the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nerves they both together form plexus in the heart. That is plexus means networks. It forms plexus in the heart. That is the deep cardiac plexus and also the superficial cardiac plexus. The superficial cardiac plexus it is seen below the arch of the aorta in front of the right pulmonary artery. And the deep cardiac plexus it is seen behind the aorta in front of the bifurcation of the trachea. So these are the location of the superficial and the deep cardiac plexus. Now I, I will explain this diagram. So this is the left sympathetic chain and this is the left vagus. And this is the right sympathetic chain and this is the right vagus. So these are the branches of the left sympathetic chain. That is they are cardio accelerate in function. So the branches of the left sympathetic chain there there is the superior cervical ganglia, middle cervical ganglia, inferior cervical ganglia and T1 to T5 ganglions. In the similar pattern the sympathetic the right sympathetic chain also contains these branches that is the right superior cervical ganglia, middle superior, inferior cervical T1 to T3 ganglia. And the parasympathetic it is from the vagus. So the left vagus it has got three branches that is the superior branch inferior that is that is a superior cervical branch inferior cervical branch and also recurrent laryngeal branch of the left vagus and the right vagus also have these branches that is the superior cervical inferior and also recurrent laryngeal branch so that this is the parasympathetic nerve supply that is the left and right vagus so now we will discuss how the superficial cardiac plexus is formed so in the formation of the superficial cardiac plexus only two branches one from the left sympathetic chain and one from the left vagus is involved. So which is that branch from the left sympathetic chain? It is the superior cervical cardiac branch of the left sympathetic chain and inferior cervical cardiac branch of the left vagus. These two are involved in the formation of the superficial cardiac plexus. And the superficial cardiac plexus it is connected to the deep cardiac plexus and the right coronary artery and also the left anterior pulmonary plexus that is the plexus of the lungs left lungs so the superficial cardiac plexus it is connected to deep cardiac plexus the right coronary artery and also the left anterior pulmonary plexus so only two branches are involved in the formation of superficial cardiac plexus and except these two branches all other branches that is from the left sympathetic chain from the left vagus from the right vagus from the right sympathetic chain all other branches are involved in the formation of the deep cardiac plexus all these branches except the superior cervical cardiac branch and also the inferior cervical cardiac branch of the left vagus. All other branches are involved in the formation of the deep cardiac plexus. And the deep cardiac plexus it is connected to the right coronary artery and also the pulmonary plexus on either side. So the nerve supply to the heart it is from the cardiac plexus. So 
they are the superficial and the deep cardiac plexus both the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nerve supplies these plexus and the superficial cardiac plex it is formed from the superior cervical cardiac branch of the limb left sympathetic chain and the inferior cervical cardiac branch of the left vagus and all other branches from the left and right sympathetic chain and also from left and right vagus is involved in the formation of the deep cardiac plexus and the superficial cardiac plexus it is connected to the deep cardiac plexus the right coronary artery and also the left anterior pulmonary plexus and the deep cardiac plexus it is connected to right coronary artery and also the pulmonary plexus on either side so this is the end of today's video this is the end of today's video for more videos please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon